day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at some beers. The beers are back behind me, as always. Uh, what beer should we start with? You know what? We're going to start with the one that you can't see, because I, for some reason, put it back behind. This is Hucklejack. Hucklejack Canadian Lager, and Hucklejack Canadian Lager is 5% alcohol by volume. It says, beer with huckleberry flavor. A crisp, balanced lager with an undertone of huckleberry. The fuel of choice for our Canadian grizzly population. Okay. Um, I actually know nothing about this brewery, or who it even is. It kind of... Dirt Road Touring, Inc., Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Brewed by Waterloo Brewing Company, Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Okay, so this is brewed under license uh, for Big Road Touring, Inc. Whoever the fuck Big Road, Road Touring, Inc. is. Uh, and brewed at the Waterloo Brewing Facility uh, in Kitchener. Um, huge facility. Uh, well, I shouldn't say huge. It might. I, I don't know how it is now that parts of it has been bo have been bought off, uh, such as um, the Red Baron line and the Formosa line and all that. I don't even know if that stuff's even still made, to be honest. I know a Chinese brewery, uh, well, a Chinese company had bought the rights to the Formosa Springs uh, facility, as well as Formosa and a few other brands, but I don't know if they're even still made, it's been a long time. So yeah, Hucklejack, this is our craft, a crisp balanced lager with an, okay, so that's the exact same thing, the fuel of our, for our Canadian grizzly population, brewed with real huckleberry extract, Who real huckleberry extract? Ooh, you couldn't use just real huckleberries? I've, you know, I know huckleberry is something that we should, we as Canadians are supposed to know what a huckleberry tastes like. I don't fucking eat huckleberries. I don't eat huckleberry pie. I don't have a huckleberry tea. I don't know much about fucking huckleberries. What the fuck's a huckleberry? There's a bunch of different berries out there that, uh, we as Canadians should know if you talk to a lot of people. Um, Huckleberry being one of them. Hazy. Brassy gold color, bright white head. Lots of snap, crackle, pop. Scent out of the glass. Well, there is a berry note. I don't know if, well, again, I don't know what huckleberry really is supposed to taste like or smell like. That's kind of like a mixture of um, of skyberry and uh, skyberry and raspberry. Can can is the same, except you get a little bit more of a sweetness coming from it, as well as uh, as well as a bit more of the just biscuitiness of the beer itself. Cheers, Slanche. Let's try it. That's a it's a fairly nonchalant beer, right? Eh? And is this a is this actually a press or is it oh my lord no it is that's a that's a printed can most most contract brewers i know usually will just you know get a can wrap and whoever is whoever is doing the beer for them they just can wrap it there but that's that's an actual printed can and that is a pretty hefty uh price like i mean that's can wrapped that's can wrapped uh that is owned by a big guy but it's and it's not can wrapped so i mean like it's it's weird to see a craft guy doing printed cans because now you have to hold those printed cans somewhere you have to bring them to the brewery whenever you're going to do them then you got to take them whatever let's try it slot check Oh, nice, crisp, somewhat creamy uh, to a medium mouthfeel, but very low carbonation. 
low carbonation, creamy medium mouthfeel, a little bit of a earthy dirtiness on the back end, sort of like an adjunct lager type of earthy dirtiness on the back end. Front end, a little bit of wet cardboard, a little bit of a uh, little bit of breadiness and wet cardboard. And there is a fruity undertone that starts right there with that that maltiness at the forefront and goes through to the back. Uh, that dirtiness is still mixing with with a fruitiness. That's a very very easy drinking beer. That fruitiness almost comes off like a almost comes off like a Belma hop. It almost has like a slight honeydew, slight strawberry flavor to it. It's a solid beer. I like this beer. That's a solid little beer. I think that beer is 7.5 out of 10. Anyway, cheers YouTube. Bye-bye.